So hey guys, this is Kugli again with a video cuz well I'm back baby. So yeah, roll the intro. Guys, uh, if you saw my last update, the last update for me was uh, me telling you guys that I have an exam, I'm going away uh, for studies and all that. Well, that video was shot quite quite early, um, way before my, I actually left for the exams. And well, would you have it? I just came back. I just arrived back at my home today morning, and. Um, it's been tiring. It's been a tiring one or two weeks for me because, well, exams, studies, and I'm just happy that it all paid off. I passed my exams. I am a certified officer right now, at least in theory, so that is a good thing. I do have a few more formalities left. I do have a few courses left. All that is still left, but the major headache is over, and that is what this video is about so yeah i'm back i'll be continuing with all things which i've been doing and a few things more so if you have noticed i have my new gloves on i have had these gloves uh for quite some time now uh, honestly i had these gloves almost two days after i made that video the previous update video where i said i'll be taking a hiatus so i've had this and i've actually worn this quite a number of times and uh, for the most part i love this glove this is the biking brotherhood this is the biking brotherhood well it's okay whatever it is biking brotherhood full gauntlet race style glove so i am actually very happy about being an owner of this glove but I do have a few caveats with it uh, which I will be mentioning. I will be making a full review on this because I think there aren't many technical videos or information about this glove out there. I'm not really sure why because I guess a lot of motor vloggers are using this but I think it doesn't really have all the information which uh, you need when purchasing this glove. So. I'll be making uh, a full-on review with it. Uh, I'll be taking Chase on Two Wheels' first fit video as an inspiration because I think it is amazingly done. And uh, I'll be trying to use his style of uh, video. So, um, stay tuned for that. I might be doing something about this. So yeah, that is first thing. Then uh, I'll be, of course, I'll be doing ROM reviews, and uh, I do realize that there are two Oreo ROMs available. Uh, one is Resurrection Remix, which is in its most primitive beta stance. So that's one thing. Also, there is a Lineage-based ROM, which is on Oreo, uh, which I just happened to see. So I'll be trying that out, but. Again, like as most people say, these are the first iterations for both of these ROMs on the new version of Android. So, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a beta. It's going to have a lot of bugs. It might not even boot for you guys. It's specific. It doesn't really work as a daily driver. You should be knowing that. So, I won't be looking at that as a daily driver sort of a video. It's just going to be what are the progress, what is the progress about it, what st stuff is not working. So you don't have to flash these ROMs, so that is sort of how I will be doing that video. If you're interested, I've been using the Zenity uh, RR test build which was released on 5th, sep uh, 5th September, which was released onto the uh, Telegram group and not to the XGA chat, so that is what I've been using. It's been working perfectly until today morning, uh, for some reason, my geo sim of course i use a geo sim for uh, internet uh, i couldn't use geo and my primary sim which is an idea sim both of them at the same time uh, i'm not really sure if that's a rom related worship problem but i changed my rom to the nuclear rom which i had lying around which was the oldest uh, version of it and it worked and uh, for some time after that again it stopped working uh, after that it was like it didn't work 
VLD did not work for some time for me uh, that was another issue which I had and uh, yeah that is what I uh, wanted to talk, tell you guys and I'm back on a stock ROM for now just because it works it seems to work VLD seems to work right now and everything is oh man it's been a while since I've been to this place if you don't know or if you haven't seen any of my other videos on my motorcycle well this place really makes me feel like um, just just staying here it's a really nice place for me it's quiet I think there's an auto rickshaw but I'm not sure if there's any people there but uh, yeah Wow, what is this? Oh shit, that is duct tape. My duct tape is peeling out of this grip. Oh shit. Okay, anyways, I'll take care of that some way or the other. Just need to remember that, that's the thing. Oh, my new gloves! Ah, oh. One other thing which I really like in these gloves is that it does have fingerprint uh, sensitive fingers, I guess. I mean, touchscreen sensitive fingers on four fingers works out really well um, not as well as your hands of course but uh, in a pinch you can not you can just not have that so that is some things which I really like if you have any questions on these gloves because most people do have questions uh, because their website is crap right now uh, there isn't even sizing charts available for gloves which made it really difficult for me to find the correct pair for me but um, I had a friend who already owns one of these and he suggested yeah I check Cramster's website for the sizing chart and uh, I chose it accordingly it's a little tight um, I would say but it's leather it's full leather so it's going to break in over time so that's one thing so yeah that's something which I uh, understood and I uh, got to work with so um, apart from that what all in announcements do I have I have few uh, gadgets which is coming in the mail I have bought a few of them and it's raining it's starting to rain I should be getting back now so it's raining like real bad oh my god this is bad is it raining real bad for the past two days when I was not here and uh, the sun is real deceptive right now <laughs> it was sunny when I left for when I started preparing to leave for everything but uh, then it just went back to shit fire right now but it's not a bad rain so I can still make it back home if I don't want to I want to stay there for quite some more time but uh, I guess I have to do that someday yeah stuff I have bought a few stuff which uh, is available uh, I bought a power bank which is a 20,000 uh, milliamp power amp from a company called Coolnut which was offered at a discount on Amazon so I'm gonna make a video on how reliable these power banks are and I do have few other power banks which I am also going to make a video on so that uh, you understand that you buy stuff from reliable sources and think with your head don't just go with their marketing mumbo jumbo it just doesn't work so yeah I'm not going to spoil too much about it but I do have a few videos on that regard so yeah hopefully you guys will enjoy it oh man it's getting real dark right now <laughs> I will probably also buy an action cam in the coming days because I've been thinking about it for quite some time now uh, and uh, this rig while it's pretty good for a beginner rig it doesn't really cut it for what I want it to do so yeah it's bulky it's not small I want a rig which I can use for uh, extended period of time with multiple batteries and all that this one for an action cam for the intended purpose as an action cam this one works pretty well I am actually getting pretty good battery life with this one but this phone does have a, an issue where the battery doesn't uh, battery drains out when the phone is off so that is the biggest problem which I have right now with this one and it's raining real bad I need to find shelter soon Oof. that was not good rain go away oh yeah this would be a great moment to test these gloves out right because uh, they say I mean, they oh fuck it's it's cold I don't have my jacket today ow ow ow
Ah, hopefully you don't fall down. I'm gonna stay here. Oh, ruined. Everything is ruined. So, yeah. Anyways, I've taken shelter in a nearby place. Oh wow, those ants. Hope there's nothing else. Hopefully my camera is not off. Or my camera is not drenched completely. Oh, oh okay. That's not good. Wow, it's raining like crazy. So yeah, not best. Not the best at all. So anyway, so as I was saying, um, this might be a great opportunity to test the waterproofing of this glove because the retail box in which it came called for Hypora and Hypora is a waterproof and breathable membrane. But it doesn't say anything about this Hypora in the website or anyone I've talked about. So I'm really confused on it's in the box but it's not in their material of advertisement or anything like that and also it says Kevlar but I don't see Kevlar in any ways what is Kevlar? where is Kevlar used? I don't know is it in the palm? then that means the leather is just for show I'm not sure um, if it is just if it is a stitching then that's great and why are they not bragging about it because that is amazing if it is Kevlar stitching but these are stuff which uh, I will try and make out. I have been contacting Biking Brotherhood but uh, till now I haven't got any information on this one. So yeah, I mean I'm a full small fry right now so I don't really, uh, I'm not really surprised that they're not uh, replying to me. But as a customer I would have liked to have a reply or at least an explanation on what they mean by any, all of that. But well, I guess that's one of those things which I have to see for myself so I'll be doing that I thought it was going to be only a drizzle or something like that but no nope. that was a full on rain oh, I might be stuck here for quite some time mm, the rain is getting bigger and better and worse er, uh, I think I should just chuck everything inside my pants and just ride in the rain well, if that happens you won't be seeing any outro so yeah, hopefully that is not what I have to do.